We need to talk, okay? Let's talk about supernatural sculpting, all right? I got some new goodies that I'm gonna be using in this video. Let's walk through it, and if you have your makeup with you, let's do it together. I feel like a video like this is important if you are beginning at makeup and you just want to understand what exactly is the highlight, the contour, the bronzer, how does that differ from one another, where do I place it, what am I supposed to be doing? Let's go over that in this video. All links to all products are going to be down below so make sure you take a look at that. The general idea when it comes to supernatural sculpting is you want to accentuate the natural curves of the face, the natural shadows, and do it in a way where it looks natural and effortless, right? But of course that takes makeup so let's do that I want this to look natural glowy and effortless I'm gonna begin with this Kosas vitamin infused skin enhancer so the thing about this product is that you can use it alone you can mix it or layer it with your foundation now what I'm gonna do is show you how I would put this on my face before the foundation I pumped some onto my hands and I like to focus in the areas where I would naturally put a highlighter after I've done my foundation. So it's gonna be in the high points of the cheek area. I always like to go in the middle of my nose when I do my highlight. And see how at first I rubbed it? This color is gorgeous, by the way. I rubbed it at first and now I'm just patting it into my skin. And I think that this looks so beautiful, even just mixed in with my skincare. It's nice and bronzy, okay? And now I'm gonna take some more on the other side of my cheek. And the chin is always a nice area to glow. And you may want the middle of the forehead to glow as well. That does look really, really pretty. This to me would be a wicked effortless routine to do if you're on a sunny vacation or live in a warm climate area, or if it's cold outside and you just wanna look glowy, natural, and sculpted, okay? So I've done the foundation and the concealer, and now I'm gonna contour with this Milk Makeup Sculpt Stick. And this is the shade Sizzle. Now this is really deep, and I love this because I know that it's gonna really, really show. So I'm gonna use a Sephora 70 brush and take some of the product. Now this is very pigmented and I'm using a flat Kabuki brush because it's gonna give me a full coverage application of the product, you know, without me having to do too much. So I just took a little bit of this product and do you see how gorgeously it blended? So I literally had a smidge of it on the edge of this brush and then now I am blending it. Look at how much I've taken. And then I'm placing it and now now, turning this over a bit and then blending it. You could, of course, take your hand and then apply it into place and then blend it. And I'll show you how you can do that on the other side of the face. The key is to make sure that your contour is in the hairline because you want it to look as natural as possible. Taking a little bit more of this product because it is very deep in the most beautiful way. Put it into place and then now I am blending. Now, you, I, you might think this is a little bit rough because this is my face, but you know, you can be a little gentle if you feel so inclined, but. I I just love to blend this like this. And then I'll build up depending on how dark and deep I want my contour to be. Now with the contour, it's going to add a shadow to the face, whereas with the bronzer, it's gonna add warmth to the face. Not to be confused by a highlighter, which will add a glow to the face. Now that could be confusing because we know that sometimes a highlighter is going to brighten. You've got some highlighters that are gonna just lighten up the face and then others that are going to add a glow, uh, like a frosty glow to the face, like the Kosas one that I used earlier today, okay? So if you feel like you wanna get your hands, you know, if you wanna get your hands in a whole situation, you can take a little bit of the product on the finger and then I would be very careful and apply like so all around the perimeter of the face and we're doing a super natural sculpt so no need for you to take so much at once but what I love about this product already is that it's buildable so if you put some on and you feel like you can tolerate some more you prefer to do more then go ahead and take some more okay now the nose is tricky you gotta be really really careful I love to use this Sephora 57 brush and I'm taking some of the product that was just one tap going on the back of my hand like so 
and like diffusing out the product, okay? Diffuse, diffuse, diffuse. And then now I'm gonna pinch it to angle it a bit. You see me do this in my videos all the time. And we're patting along the sides of the nose and into the actual front of the brow to connect it, to create that shadow or that contour right there. You feel me? That takes a lot of practice. I did that very quickly, but of course, if you are a beginner, spend some time on that because the last thing you want is for your nose contour to be looking real crazy okay and like I said all products are linked below so make sure you take a look at the description box if you want to grab any of these but this one is very deep and very very beautiful and I'm bringing this to a point right here in the, the tip of my nose this one I don't have to pinch to do so perfectly and I did just take a little bit from what was left over on my hand I am now in the blending stage of it I'm not applying any more product because with this paper towel in front of me I've taken off the excess product on the brush and now I just want to blend it all okay very softly to create that shadow if this is helpful so far comment and let me know okay so now when it comes to bronzer again that's gonna add warmth to the face you have the shadow and then you have the bronzer which is usually warm red in undertone okay and I'm gonna use the say sun melt natural cream bronzer I've got two shades I've got deep bronze and dark bronze now if you look at these although they are red in undertone warm you'll notice that this one's obviously darker this dark Dark bronze I honestly could use as a contour like looking at how deep it is but we already contoured so I'm gonna use the other shade and I'm showing you this because depending on the shade of the product you may be able to use it to do something else but because I want to actually bronze my face bring the warmth into it I'm gonna use the shade deep bronze which is like you can see more red and it will actually be a bronzer for me I'm gonna use the Sephora 70 brush again and gather some of this product going lightly because it's easier to build up than it it is just take it down okay and I'm gonna apply this almost like it's a blush you'll see so starting right in the middle of my cheek area and I'm gonna work this in in a little bit of a haphazard manner but you should see that it's adding warmth to my face okay so first we have the shadow and now we have the bronzer now you could just do bronzer if you want your face to look warm and sun-kissed or you can do both you know what I'm saying? So it really is a choice. I want you to comment and let me know if you do either or, or do you do both? I wanna know. Now with the bronzer, you can just focus on the cheek area if you wanted to, or you can bring this up all around the face like I'm starting to do right now. And I'm taking a little bit of product. It doesn't have to be a tremendous amount. I mean, look at how much I've used thus far. Not a lot, and I think it looks beautiful and natural. No need to overdo this. And honestly, I think this looks so pretty because again, before it was looking more gray more shadowy which is the whole point of the contour but then we added this warmth to it it just looks more natural right that's the whole point of the supernatural sculpt you know what I'm saying okay and now I'm gonna use the one size cheek clapper 3d blush trio and I'm gonna use the shade right in the middle it's called bury that this is beautiful okay and this is the Sephora 59 brush love to use this look at how pigmented this is I've never used this particular trio so I took off the excess and I'm starting right here in the middle of the cheek this is to give a nice berry warm mauvey plum look to the cheeks which I think just looks so beautiful on brown skin so I start in the middle of the cheek and then make my way to the back and then I come in the front because the first place that I tap on the product is where I'm gonna get the most pigment and I want that to be right here in the middle and then now we're working it into the cheek so we didn't go back in again with what is left over on this brush which I love link below is more product and then we're working it into the cheeks do you see that so here's the cheek with Without the blush and here's the cheek with the blush very subtle very natural of course you can build this up if you wanted to so what's nice about this trio is you have cream the matte color and then you have the shimmer so you really could use all three but I just chose to go right here but I love this because it's a three-in-one you feel what I'm saying I'm gonna stop right there before I get too carried away but I hope that this video was helpful for you to just show you some tips and tricks on how and where to place your contour your highlighter your blush and also your bronzer comment below and let me know if you tried any of these products and which of these tips was more helpful to you because I want to know. I'm going to leave two videos for you to choose from to watch after this one. Don't go anywhere and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.